Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Shelly here, you're too close, let me scoot back. <clears throat> all right, that's a little bit better. Hi everybody, I hope you guys are doing really well. Thank you for joining me today. I have, as I get situated here, the Every Other Month American Influencer Beauty Bundle. I have recently canceled this. And now I'm wondering if I should have. It's $34 a month, you get it every other month. It's an influencer sort of takeover for the month. So the first time I did it was Guy Tang and it was all hair care products and I fell in love with them and I raced out and bought all of them. Now I've got them on like, you know, Amazon subscription where they're just gonna show up every few months. I also have had the Perlice box, which has been mostly like skincare, body care type stuff. Hits and misses with that one. The Manicadar beauty box had makeup. Together it created a very, very simple, mm, not very interesting, but very just everyday normal work from home, stay at home, not really leaving the house, unless you have perfect skin type face. But it was fun to try some of the products. Uh, I didn't find any that are like, oh my gosh, these are the best thing in the world. I have to go out and repurchase. But it was fun to try some of her products. Um, and then there was the Lala, Gimme Lala, which was a eyeshadow palette, which was cute, uh, very neutral, basic, and some lip glosses, lipsticks. And they were okay. There was, I think, one that I really didn't like. I feel like I'm missing one. This is the new American Influencer. This is Tress. And there's a message in here from the founder, CEO of Tress. I believe that's who she is. And it's got her signature and I can't read her signature. So I'm not really sure what her name is. She founded it 20 years ago. She's basically just sharing her products, some of her best products here. I did use them. I used them today, as a matter of fact. So we're gonna go through what was in the box, American Influencer box for November, December, or December, January. I'm not quite sure how the months break down. We're gonna go through this quickly. We're gonna speed through it. So the first thing on here is the infusion shampoo. This is the infusion shampoo. It's, I have dry, coarse, naturally kind of wavy hair. I think that's in my profile. So I think that's kind of what they gear some of the products to, which I don't have any problem at all. This infusion shampoo, it says 100% vegan, high-tech, organic, actives. I used it today. I actually really liked it. The thing that I wasn't expecting about this is it's a clear gel. Like if you, I don't know if this will show up here, but it is a clear gel. I'm used to shampoos that have like a white coloring to them. This has no coloring at all. It's completely clear. It's not unlike the Neutrogena, like the clean, clear, clean scalp, whatever it's called. We used it to sort of take away buildup and stuff on my hair. It's not unlike that in shade, or like consistency, but it actually felt really good. It, it didn't like lather up a huge amount. Maybe I didn't put it quite enough in, but I didn't feel like I was clean. So I, I didn't have any problem with this. It didn't really feel like it stripped my hair too much. It just felt like it was a good shampoo. Then I followed it up with the infusion uh, conditioner. Next thing on the list, again, 100% vegan, high-tech organic actives, whatever that is, strength, elasticity, reconstruction, protective layer to seal cuticles. Here's the thing, I need a haircut. I've had exactly one trim in all of 2020 and I need a trim. I have split ends. I sit there sometimes on calls when they can't see me and if I'm waiting and I'll just sit there and like trim off the dead ends with scissors and it's a horrible habit, but it's one that I have and sometimes it helps my hair feel not so crispy and dry on the end but I do need a haircut. So knowing that, knowing that I do have like frayed split ends in a lot of places and sometimes my cuticle will actually kind of feather up if I'm not careful. I'll be curious to see with regular use if this actually does anything to it. Today it felt like a nice thick but not too thick conditioner for my dry hair. I didn't have a problem with it at all. The containers are kind of cool. They almost like fit together. They're sort of curved a little bit. It's not, not too bad size. This is 300 millimeters which is 10 point 10.4 ounces, I guess. So shampoo, conditioner. There is also this thing in here. I'd love to be able to tell you how this is. It's called a Deluxe Prime. And I guess what you're supposed to do is wash your hair, rinse it, spritz it down with this, work it through a little bit, rinse that out, and then use your conditioner. However, this came completely empty. There's nothing in here. It, this is soaked. There's residue all over the inside of it. So I can't even begin to tell you how this was. 
I don't know. Maybe I'll reach out to them and ask them and they can send me a new one. I, I don't know. I've never actually tried that with AIA before. I don't know how their customer service is. Next thing on here is called Night Spa. I didn't use this. I may actually try it tonight. It's supposed to be kind of like a leave-in serum for overnight, but you have to wash it out. And I don't wash my hair every day. Maybe I won't use it tonight because I just washed my hair today. But maybe I'll try it at some point in time and let you guys know how I feel about it. It seems like it's a little thick. It smells good though. Everything smells very spa like it doesn't feel it's it it smells like a place where you go get your hair cut and colored and coiffed and everything else it's not like ultra bougie it just seems like clean quality products i'm going off of not actually even trying this trust and you guys let me know have you guys ever heard of trust i've never heard of trust before. i don't actually go to a regular salon either so that maybe explains it i did try this though i tried the, sorry let's go to the next one here the next thing in here is called it says aia Tangled Leave-In Conditioner Spray, American Influencer Beauty. I, I don't know if this is a Tress product or not. It says when hair is damp, spray on. I don't think this is a Tress product, but it's in here. I don't know if this is like an extra add-on type thing, but it's a leave-in treatment. It's a detangler. It, it looks like it's supposed to come in a box. I didn't get the box, but the little card has a box. You guys, I'm not giving you prices because I don't know what they are. They didn't actually tell me what any of these prices are. Anyway, this AIA Tangled, I used this today too. After I got out of the shower, I towel dried my hair a little bit, put a little bit of that in, and then I worked in this hair protector. This is the last thing in this AIA Beauty Bundle. Hair protector says Gel Cream Daily Protector. So I used quite a bit of this. I wanna think I probably used maybe like three pumps of this and worked it through my hair when my hair was still damp, blew, blowed it dry, and then noticed it was maybe not quite as soft as I would have expected it to be. And again, I need a trim, so I don't know how much of that is just, you know, because my hair needs to be cut. Anyway, I worked a, a maybe half a pump of this through my ends and through kind of like the drier, frizzier places before curling my hair, and I thought it worked great. So I'll be excited to try this a little bit more over time and see how it performs. I can't imagine I'm gonna give up my Guy Tang and my Deva Curl, but who knows, maybe. So these are all the products that came in the beauty bundle for this month. I can't tell you how much they are because there's no price on it, but I do know that you can go to trustprofessional.com. If you use AIA Trust, you can get 15% off. I don't know if it's supposed to give you that, I don't know that I really care so much because, hey, I'm, I'm, I've canceled AIA. I don't know that I'll go back on. I'll have to decide. I have to think about it. It's $34. It's every other month. It's not like it's super expensive. It does give you, you know, every, every other month it gives you a chance to try all the products and really kind of experience them. They're all full size products. Occasionally I think we get a, like a little travel size or deluxe sale size or something, but that's it for the AIA beauty bundle. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for my BoxyTerm unboxing and a little makeup application try on, and I hope you guys are doing really well. Until my next video, bye for now.